Hi, uh, in this video we will see. Uh, hi, uh, hi, 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 hi. Hi, in this class we will uh, look at how we can create vectors from images. So, we we can see a lot of vec uh, images and we want to create s uh, vectors and with the help of vectors only we can uh, do different kinds of machining and effects so that when uh, how we will do that so we will go oh, first uh, collect some images how we will search for the images see mm, first we have to go to the google okay then we uh, different uh, shapes so different images you can search okay so what uh, what i will uh, one is duck or something like that duck uh, mm, black and white images or vector uh, vector images or 2d line something like that you can search okay vector duck 2d line so this is the different images is coming out you can go to the images also from here also you can uh, download uh, different kinds of images so this uh, image uh, like this is the image okay suppose a symbol image we will take first and how we will also okay it's already watermarked okay no problem we will use this okay save the image okay we will save this as uh, in the desktop we are saving as duck okay duck then save okay duck. then we will go to some other images also this duck also we will take this image okay we will take one independent image this this duck or uh, take this duck or this duck okay so anyway we will take this one or this one this one will take this one big so you can freeze stencil gallery okay we can take from this and you can save some okay some places it will not allow to uh, save that okay some places it will not allow to save okay so you can download can use this line also if uh, okay, you can use this also taxil out okay so out outer line is coming okay we can use this outer line okay anyway uh, save image hmm? this also duck to taxil out stand like that only we will save so uh, we have now we have done the with the image so we have to open the image for that or we want to bring that image to this layer or uh, what we will do is that we will uh, load it and see that uh, how it will work so sometimes the image will be bigger than the the uh, the area we selected model space so what better we will do is that we will go to file then we will open it open the image okay from desktop then we have this uh, stack image then simply just click open would you like to save the your changes no okay the previous things we don't want to keep okay so this is the size it is coming so we are not bothered about the size let it be a bigger size no problem we are we want to make it center we can make it the center okay then uh, we want to change the resolution we can change the resolution also for time being i'm not doing anything i'm just giving okay let us see how the output is going to come now there is one command which is used to um create the outer line that is in bitmap tools okay that is here bitmap to vector okay this is bitmap so on to vector so first what we have to do is that we have to reduce colors we have to reduce colors into a minimum of two okay then apply then we have to go 
down and create boundary rest of things and close you can see now I, I can reduce the background color no? so that I can see full vectors ok so I got the vector now I will do one thing see this is the outer line I got it this is the line got it so I could able to create vector from image so if that uh, this image is clear image because it's already watermarked so some name and has come otherwise we get a quite good curve okay we can also we can uh, also edit it to get the right curve so like this this way also we can we are not bothered about all these things so we can delete it if we don't want this thing we can delete it okay this and this you don't want so delete it this is the only image is there in the background okay the vector is this much so this is the vector we want to use if you want to delete this thing also you can delete it for that what we have to do is that here one joining is there no so we have to make it join so uh, we will go to node editing ok go a little bigger and what we will do is that we, we will cut this here C cut it here and cut it here so what happened this area this portion just a delete button and remove here also I want to cut it here C keep top on the node no then put press C and then it will cut so this also I don't want this this area delete it See, this also simply we will delete we don't want because we want to join from this to here okay and uh, here also we want this thing also we want to cut here and if you want to cut you can cut it here also no problem so that uh, this portion we can this portion we can remove no required not required so uh, this much only I think rest of thing is okay here also some problem is there so this also we will remove this also from here to here so we will put this as C here cut it here also you cut here also cut here also cut it so you can remove this remove here also delete ok so we have this all other thing is ok so how we will do the joining of this thing you can join it using a line also ok you just join add existing line ok draw smooth create you bring it near to this and near to this then joint not joint ok we will delete it we will do some other method you are selecting this thing and select keeping this thing at the existing line ok close so this and this so ok we, we don't do this method we will do one other method I guess I am just selecting this and selecting shift button selecting this thing also then there is a method of joining vectors with curve just click it somewhere else it got joined now here it's got joined because this portion already was not uh, connected no so see this portion and this portion first got joint okay now here this is one line no here it is not joining it is just closing okay so we will go next to that there is a closing close vectors with curve you just click it it will get closed so you have now to this line shift button this line and if you want this line this line and this outer line this much only you, we want so 
after selecting this what we have to do is that we will go to vector then we will tell export okay export and I am uh, saving into the desktop okay export to duck so I exported as duck and while exporting I will uh, save it as an EPS format save okay after that now I created this vectors from an image so do done some editing uh, if you have perfect image then you need not to do much editing you can get the direct vectors then whatever the vectors I required I selected and I saved okay as a exported exported as a EPS format in APS format now I don't have any work with this I can just close it okay I can close it the close the model I can now open a new model and required size where I want to mission okay this is 1510 in this only I want to bring this duck okay so for that what I have to I go to again go to vectors here now we have to import import in desk from desktop we have the file which is the file uh, duck d u c duck eps okay then open so you can see that vector has come but the size is much bigger no because our uh, now uh, earlier uh, we created in a bigger size so we want to create it in a smaller size so what we will do we have to change the size for that we will go to transform vectors we will click it here and uh, then we will tell the size required we will keep the size uh, 15 was the width we will maintain the uh, ratio okay 15 okay cancel we will this is the size this is the size so again i will go here uh, first i have to close this maintain aspect ratio then only when i change this to 15 automatically the other value 13 will come so the 13 is not there so i will give 12 so 10 mm okay i will give 11 so again 10 mm so i will give 10 so almost it's a square type now so i will give 10 the height will become an apply so it become very small no and close it so what i will do i have to bring it to the center so it came to the center because our model space is this much only we are creating in a very small area so okay so the duck now for the required stripe it is there inside the uh, model space of 15 eh? whatever the size we have given so this we can use for this vector we can use for engraving marking cutting and all those things these vectors we can use it so this way we can bring any shape from internet and create the vector and uh, use for machining so uh, this class is, is uh, we i have explained you how to import an image download an image from the uh, net and bring inside the uh, open it in the uh, software then create the vectors from the image and edit that then save it as a vector then close that uh, work area and open a new one and then import that uh, saved design into the required space so uh, those points i covered in this and uh, creating vector it's uh, creating vector or creating the design is the basic step for any machining operation so uh, you have done uh, uh, half the way or mostly 80 percentage of the thing no you have done with the design so uh, this is the way you ha you can create different kinds of designs so if you have any further doubts on this you can uh, uh, put in my command uh, box below the video 
where I will be uh, replying uh, replying to you or also you have my email id uh, ask at pradeepkumarkp.com in that also you can mail so that I can able to reply you and also I can improve the content so that it will be a worthy content for you uh, to refer back thank you very much